What's happening guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be doing an interior DIY on my 2013 BMW E92 M3. So I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to uninstall the steering wheel trim here. So as you guys can already see, I do have some carbon one by one weave interior trim here on the steering wheel, but I'm actually gonna be swapping this back out for the stock one. If you guys have been long time subscribers on the channel here, then you'll probably already know that I used to have some custom one by one hand laid carbon interior trim. And that's also why I have the one by one weave here on the steering wheel. Um, since then I've changed things up and now I have this custom leather trim here with the blue accenting. And uh, basically I don't really have any actual carbon fiber in here anymore, except for the steering wheel and my door handles here. So these are probably actually going to stay. Here's a look at the new trim here. Um, I did a whole install video about that with all the details. So definitely go check that out as well. But as you can see, I do have some blue accents here. So again, this is the only carbon and this is the only carbon, but I'm going to be pulling this off and I'm gonna put the stock one back on just because nowhere else in here is there any carbon. So. Um, I just kind of want to change things up and revert it back to stock and this one is actually sold already So might as well get rid of it and change things up. All right, let's get this DIY started So first things first we need to be safe and being safe requires us to Disconnect the negative terminal on battery because we are going to be pulling the airbag out of the steering wheel So just because I don't want that to explode in my face I think it's a safe idea for you guys to uh, disconnect the battery. So we'll do that first All right, so all you need here is a 10 millimeter socket and we're just gonna disconnect this, pull this terminal up. And I like to put a little microfiber towel down here and set the terminal on top of that. That way there's no connections. So just like that. And do not close your trunk, otherwise you're pretty much screwed. Okay, so the next part of the process here is to remove the steering wheel. And in order to do that, there are two small, tiny little slits on each side of the steering wheel. They're very hard to see. They're actually like a little indentation in the leather, a small little hole. And so you just need to take a small, thin, flathead screwdriver in there and push on the little tab that's inside of the steering wheel on both sides and it will release this part of the steering wheel. So here is the little slit that I'm talking about. It's very small. I didn't actually puncture this. This is an OEM little hole here. So all you need to do is put your screwdriver in there and then it needs to be kind of thin, flathead. So put that in there and you'll kind of feel around and eventually you'll feel this little pusher spring right here that I'm kind of pushing on and it will release this part this side of the steering wheel and then we'll have to do the same thing on the other side. All right, so once you've got this popped off, all you need to do is take that same flathead screwdriver here and we're gonna disconnect these two plugs. So you just wedge it in here just like this prop that up same thing there and then you can actually pull these off just like that and they're color-coded so you know where it goes when you go ahead and reinstall this but now the airbag is off so just to show you guys what the little springs look like if you don't know what that looks like so I will stick my screwdriver in this little hole real quick and show you where this goes so on the driver's side, you can see where my screwdriver is coming in. So it goes down this channel and pushes this little bracket, if you guys can see that. So it comes down this channel and pushes this little metal bracket and it will release this side of the steering wheel. The same thing on the other side. Okay, so for this trim piece, we can do one of two things. We can actually pull this entire steering wheel off and do this on the table, uh, which might actually be a little bit easier. Or what we can do is actually remove the trim while the wheel is on here. So if you wanted to remove the steering wheel, all you would need to do at this point is use a 16 millimeter uh, socket and there's a giant bolt here in the middle. All you need to do is unscrew that and this whole wheel will actually come off. So like I said, the other alternative, there are three screws holding this into place. So there's one right here on the back side. It's gonna be hard for you guys to see right here. One down here and one on this other side here. So this is going to be a T20. I'm just going to make my life a little easier, take my 16, try to hold the wheel and unscrew this at the same time. There we go. Just gonna break it loose. And it's pretty easy to uh, put the steering wheel back on. So this will actually probably be a little bit faster for me. And then I'm not straining so much. So there's the 16 
and then you just pull this straight off. Oh, we do have to unplug two little plugs here. Let's see. There's a gray plug and a black plug that you just pull off. So I'll show you guys that here once I pull the wheel off. So here's the gray plug and here's the black plug right into that column here. And uh, if you ever are unsure of how to put this back on, there's a little tick mark right here on the steering column as well as the inside of the steering wheel has this little small little tick mark. Line those up and then you'll you'll be perfectly in line. So let's go ahead and take this to the table and uh, we can do the rest. So much easier to do it like this off the table. Plus it gives me an opportunity to show you a little bit more what the backside of the steering wheel looks like. So once again, screw here, screw here, and screw here. T20. Okay, now we can flip this wheel over. And uh, the rest of this wheel, the rest of this trim is basically just being hold on, uh, compression clipped into place. So really, just right here on the tops, you're just gonna need to pull it out. Okay. There we go. And just like that. We've got this piece off, there's the steering wheel. So like I said, there's just little compression clips here, one here, one here, uh, and it's pushed in right here and right here, and the rest of it's just compression fitted onto the steering wheel. All right, so here's the side-by-side -side of the OEM steering wheel trim and the one-by-one -one carbon. So obviously we need to move these little modules over to the stock one. So if you flip this one over, there are a couple little little uh, T20s that we need to remove, one on each side. So go ahead and unscrew those. And there. And there. And then just kind of have to navigate this wire and off, off it comes. So pretty simple. So at this point, if you wanted to change out your little M badge, now's the time to do so. I already have a blue one in here. It's been in there for a while. Uh, I might just leave it since I've got the blue accents. So basically going to just reinstall the same way. So make sure this is all lined up, your holes are lined up. And uh, go ahead and screw these back in. This doesn't need to be super tight because it is plastic going into plastic. One there, one here. So the other two holes here that you see on the bottom are actually the ones from the steering wheel over here. So one there and one there. So we don't need to worry about those. And then just go ahead and weave your wire through here again. Just like that, good to go. Now we can go ahead and toss this back onto the steering wheel. Simple, simple process, guys. So once again, line this stuff up, push in, push in. Make sure it's all into place. And then we can go ahead and tighten down these screws again. I find it easier to hold the back side of it, hold the trim into place and then screw. Yeah, just like that, the wheel's all back together. Got the new trim piece on there. Looks perfect once again, super clean, OEM. Now we can go ahead and reinstall this on the car. All right, so we are finally ready to reinstall. Once again, just line up your little tick mark here with the one on the steering wheel. And it'll go right on into place. Perfect. Okay. And uh, go ahead and put your 16 millimeter nut back in place. There we go, it's not going anywhere. And then go ahead and plug your gray plug back in. It only goes in one place, plug your black one back in. That's good to go. Then we can take our air bag here and then same thing, green to green, black to black. So you have to push this on first before you lock down the little 
tab there. Same thing, this only goes on one direction as well. Put it on, lock it down. So that should be it. And everything looks good. We can go ahead and push this back on into place. And it's just a matter of pushing it on on both sides. And that's it. We can reconnect the battery and we're done. Alright guys, that just about does it for today's video. Hopefully that was a helpful DIY for you guys. Again, very simple thing to do. I'd say the hardest part is probably finding the little tabs in the steering wheel uh, to get this airbag off of here because if you haven't done it at all, it's a little bit weird to feel. You're not really sure what you're feeling for. Uh, that's kind of why I want to show you guys what it looked like from the other side after the steering wheel is off so you can kind of have a visual in your mind of what to feel. Um, but I've had steering wheels off multiple times and multiple BMWs, so I already kind of know what it feels like and I know what I'm looking for. But other than that, very, very simple install. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know. Which one do you guys like better? Do you like the OEM one here? Nice, crisp, clean black. Matches everything else in here. Or do you like the one by one carbon? Because it's different. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. We will see you guys on the next video. Take care, stay tuned for more, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you then. Take care.